All right, so now what we're gonna do is go back to our cPanel, I'm already logged in, and we're going to install WordPress. And again, you can install WordPress by going to software and going to quick install, or sometimes up top there is a, uh, under popular links, you can click on build a new WordPress site. I'm just in the habit of going down and uh, using the quick install. So I'm gonna click on quick install, all right, and then I'm going to click on this one right here, which is WordPress. I'm going to select the domain I want to install it on, which is the only domain I have right now, Complete Beginner Workshop. Uh, directory, you want to leave blank because you want to install it at your main uh, domain, so just always leave directory blank. If you ever use a host that has something here, make sure you delete it. And we're going to click Next. Uh, blog title, not important right now, but I'll just do Complete Beginner Workshop. Again, that's not important right now. Admin user, I'll just do my name, Greg. First name, Greg. Last name, Morrison. Email address, support at completebeginnerworkshop.com. I recommend always using a, a, an email on your domain here. And we already, sh I showed you how to set up a, an email on your domain in the last video, if you wanna do that. I don't like using private emails here because uh, it can turn into a footprint. Uh, if you do, when that is basically a footprint, is something where Google can track you own a whole bunch of sites, uh, and if they don't like what you're doing, they can penalize you. That's kind of the, the easy way to put it. Um, kind of break it down easily. That's what a footprint is. It's something that Google can follow to identify that you own the same properties across multiples. You know, you own, uh, you know, all these websites. You know, they can kind of line that up and it, it can just cause problems all right so don't worry about that right now just i would recommend using an email on the domain i showed you how to set that up last video all right so i put that in that's the one i did so automatically create a new database for this installation is, is uh checked when i agree to the terms of service don't worry about this down here they're trying to rip you off here um uh there's no reason to pay any of this because we are going to do everything ourselves for free. All right, so go ahead and click on install. And this is going to install WordPress. And this usually takes uh, anywhere from 10 seconds to 60 seconds, uh, depending on the host and uh, just a number of other things. So it took us about five, 10 seconds there. Now, here is my login information. We wanna make sure that we save this. Okay, I'm actually just gonna put it in my cPanel file for now. I'll just have it there. I'll change my password again so everyone doesn't have my password, but go ahead and save this, all right? Now, to log into your WordPress site, of course, you can click log in here, but I want you guys to know how to always get there. So to get to your website, let's just click on our website. All right, as you can see, website is coming soon, so it changed. Remember before it said not found, there was nothing there. Now it says website coming soon, and that means we gotta kinda log in and get WordPress ready. All right, but to get to WordPress, you just type in the name of your website, okay? And then a slash, and then wp-admin. And that's how you get to your WordPress login area for your website, okay? And this will log us into the WordPress platform, which is how we build our website. So let's go ahead and go there. As you can see, it takes us to our WordPress login. Now to log in, we wanna enter in our WordPress login information, which we just got with our installation. So our username is Greg, and that's our password. And this will log us in. All right, so we're now gonna be logged into the WordPress dashboard, which is how we make all the magic happen, okay? So I wanted to show you how to install it first and then kind of tell you what WordPress is and why I use it, because I think it's easier to explain it once you see it. Now, what is WordPress? This is WordPress, okay? Now before, like way back in the day, when you built websites, you, you had to code it, right? So I would have to do like HTML code. So it was like HTML, head, you know, body. Like, you, like and literally you had to type everything and code everything way back in the day. Now they've made things a lot easier because it's kind of like point and click, you know? And WordPress is very easy to use where you can just, as long as you know where to point and click, you can build your website by pointing and clicking. It's that easy. Um, so that's why we want to use WordPress because it just makes building a website so easy, especially for people like, well, I shouldn't talk for you, but people like me who are technically dumb, um, you know, I need things simple and simple works for me. And I'm very good at 
uh, making big things out of simple. So I like simple, WordPress is simple, and I know you're gonna love WordPress too because it just makes everything so easy. Now, there's a little learning curve with it. I'm gonna take you through most of that, but it doesn't take long. It's not gonna be long for you can know how to really create a good looking website, okay? So this is what WordPress looks like. Now, this is like the main dashboard, okay? So I'm going to take you through how, you know, how to work all this stuff, probably in a separate video, but I want you to at least get an understanding of, of course, how to install WordPress so now we can you know, put up our site, but then also what it is and why we're using it. So again, WordPress is just a, it's a, I think the best way to explain it, it's a platform to build a website easily, okay? Instead of hard coding stuff, they would call, like typing in a bunch of HTML code and having to know HTML, which is like a whole language, uh, like computer language, you don't need to know any of that. All you need to do is install WordPress, everything kind of hard code on their end, you point and click. You know, you want to add a post, you go to post, you go to add new, and I'll just, I'll just show you really quick. And we'll go over all this in the next video. And you, know, you would put your, so this is gonna bring up a thing where you can do your post. So you know, put your title here, you put your information here, and I'll show you how to use all this, and it's very easy. Okay, and there's actually maybe an easier way with, with plugins that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. All right, but now if we go back to our dashboard, I'm gonna show you one more thing before we start going into using WordPress. You'll notice right here, it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Uh, once you're ready to launch your site, click here. So. You can basically click here right away if you want. Um, and what it's saying is, you know, your website is, is oh, actually it is showing the hello world. It is showing our website right now, okay? But most of the time you have to click this to have that show. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there just to, it's done. It doesn't matter, all right? And then usually you have to click that to have this show. And this is what our website looks like right now. Now right now, it doesn't look very good, okay? It's just hello world, welcome to WordPress, so it's all generic stuff. You know, kind of like random stuff over here, uh, comments, categories, everything's all over the place, doesn't look very good, nothing's there, but we haven't done anything yet, okay? So, next video, what I'm gonna do is start showing you how to use WordPress and kind of familiarize you with it. Now, there's tons of WordPress tutorials that you can go through to get the more advanced stuff, but again, I'm gonna be showing you all the basics, you know, just the basics you need to know to start creating a good looking website. All right, so, hope you all enjoyed this video. That's what WordPress is. That's why we wanna use it. Basically, it's a, an easy website builder uh, that makes things very simple. That's, that's the what and why. Uh, and then how, I just showed you how to install it on your site.